Hello everybody, this is Gakonga, your coach and the pioneer of Vision Total Football Kenya. Today, I want us to discuss this issue of FIFA ban. As we all know, Kenya has banned by FIFA indefinitely. And what that means, it means that there is no end. There is no definite date to when the ban will end. However, FIFA has said that if Kenya government reinstates FKF officials, um, and remove the caretaker committee, the ban is going to end. But my question is this. Let us go back to how this all began and why the elected FKF officials were removed from office by the government. And remember, Kandan, uh, the Kandanda House, where the FKF office is, is a crime scene. And uh, um, the caretaker committee is operating from a different office because the crime scene, which is Kandan, uh, Kandanda House, has been locked completely by the government. Now, FIFA want FKF officials to be reinstated. So for me, that is wrong because the government of Kenya, yeah, is, is responsible for Kenyan football. The government of Kenya is responsible uh, for making sure that football is run properly, football is governed properly, corruption is eliminated in football. And where the, gov the government has doubt, it must do what is necessary, including investigations and, and even yeah, uh, creating a caretaker committee which originates from uh, Sports Act 2013. Therefore, FIFA is failing to consider our Kenyan issues. FIFA is failing to respect Kenyan laws. And I've written extensively about this, yeah, and about FIFA and about asking FIFA to consider and respect international laws and statute. It is all right that FIFA has its own statute, right? But if FIFA statute is becoming retrogressive to our football situation, we cannot keep doing something that we don't agree with, because, but we are doing it because FIFA statute says so. Therefore, where do we go from here? Because the situation is not looking good. The situation is bad and FIFA has only one condition that Kenya must reinstate FKF elected officials. We, the people behind the vision of football Kenya, we have been saying for so long, we have been following Kenyan football for a very long time. We have been advocating for change. We have been fighting for change. Yeah, <clears throat> We have been in this struggle. Yeah for changing Kenyan football for over 10 years. And most people have seen us discussing uh, through our media channel and even highlighting the solutions and the problems in Kenyan football and how they can be solved. But as you know, now where we are, I want to advise the government of Kenya to do this. The government must now escalate this issue with FIFA. Soft approach, soft respond with the FIFA is not going to work, and I know from experience. I'm saying Kenyan government must now escalate this issue and take it to another level. Kenyan government must take FIFA to international court. And what this will do, it is going to give Kenya a chance to explain the situation and to explain the reason why the government has uh, took the step that it took, yeah, to create a caretaker committee and uh, to tell FKF officials to step aside because the issues were so many. The money that has been lost through FKF, <clears throat> yeah, public money, is a lot of money. So FIFA cannot just jump and use a blanket ban. And it's not only Kenya. Zimbabwe has also been banned. This uh, FIFA statute about third-party interference has been destroying football in Africa. You, I can count, yeah, the countries that have been banned in the last just five years, Kenya was banned before because of a uh, government um, creating a caretaker committee. So how then can the government yeah, reform football in a country? Because every time the government, the government is involved, that country is banned as a result of what is called interference. This is why we must say to FIFA, your statute yeah, are retrogressive when it comes to African football and CAF is not helping African football because CAF should step in 
understand the Kenyan situation and then CAF works with FIFA and say to them, this is a government that now want to solve the issues of football in the country. This country called Kenya have, has been experiencing football problems for a very long time and now the government is saying it is able to sort these issues through through procedure abc whatever the procedure are so calf need to fight for african football calf cannot just go you know go on or become a puppet of FIFA when it comes to African countries because that is their jurisdiction to make sure that African football is developing, African football has no corruption, the governments within Africa are doing what is right for their football. The government of Kenya has invested heavily in football through the federation. So it is wrong for FIFA just to not try to understand yeah, what are the main issues and what uh, and you know, and what is the idea behind what the Kenyan government is trying to do? I want to say this as well. How comes that FIFA officials are communicating with Barry Otieno when Barry Otieno is among the officials that have been told by the government to step aside? Are they communicating from River Road? How are they sending official letters to Barry Otieno? Because even this a notification for the ban was sent to Barry Otieno, not Amina Mohammed, not the government. My, that is what I have heard from media and I believe it is right. So how is Barry Otieno up to now still the person who FIFA is communicating with? You remember the issue of Starlet uh, uh, being told that they are not going to play against Uganda. And again, we had Barry Otieno wrote to FIFA, to CAF and then CAF responded to Barry Otieno and then Barry Otieno uh, is the one who was communicating with them. How? The government of Kenya has already uh, you know, uh, stopped Barry Otieno and the rest of the officials from ac accessing the, the, you know, the federation's, uh, you know, office. And we heard that the caretaker committee said that DCI was going to investigate why, you know, the issue of Barry Otieno continuing to communicate with the FIFA, with the FIFA officials. Now, this is another new thing that the ban has had to be communicated to Barry Otieno. This is telling you something that FIFA is not respecting the government of Kenya. And FIFA is overstepping its mandate. And people will say, oh, don't talk like that for a big federation, for a big world federation like FIFA. I want to tell you that is not the issue. The issue is about who is right and who is wrong. Yeah. And Kenya, uh, you know, and the government of Kenya supremacy when it comes to Kenyan football, the supremacy of our Kenyan constitution, which talks about integrity, which talks about corruption. The government is following that. The Sports Act is an act in Kenya. It is a law that Amina Mohammed used yeah, to create the caretaker committee. So FIFA must try to understand Kenya. FIFA must understand the procedure that Kenya is doing. There is nothing unprocedural what the Kenyan government has been doing. But this blanket ban, this uh, statute of FIFA that, that are thrown to any government that tries to, yeah, tries uh, what I will call intervention, yeah, try to intervene on the matters of football to straighten things and to straighten issues of football in the country then the government is so it is told by fifa that is interference by third party and a blanket ban is is done to that country destroying football in that country yeah therefore uh, what this end up end up doing is this the people in the country stop bl bl start blaming the government because of the FIFA ban, because the football is suffering. But what we need to go is to dig deep and say, this statute is retrogressive. This statute is not good for Africa as a whole. And therefore, CAF must stand up behind the African countries and say this. We need to face FIFA head on. We, But before that, because CAF is going to listen to to FIFA all the time and it, it is going to do nothing. It is us as a country, it is us Kenyans now we must take this issue on our hands and I beg and I ask the government of Kenya to take FIFA to the international court. I am willing, I am willing to step here and mediate. Yeah, I'm in London, just a call from the government. I will step in free of charge and, and mediate this issue between the government of Kenya and FIFA because the way FIFA is treating Kenya is wrong. Kenyans, we should get angry. The way FIFA is treating Kenya and it has been going for a very long time and that's why our football has been um, 
in this uh, uh, you know uh, stagnation for a very long time nothing seemed to happen the government is complaining the cs is complaining the federation is fighting the government on the other hand the hand the calf steps in fifa steps in to join the federation to fight the government therefore the government has only two choices one give fifa yeah our situation our stand as a country and what we want to do and that must be concrete to fifa and must be said this is not this is not a boat ride. This is not a, a fanfare. We are here to streamline football and to make football what is right for the country. That is option one. So therefore, the government must tell FIFA, you join us in this one or we are on our own. And either way, we are fine. Second option, the government must now consolidate the concerns of our Kenyan football and take it to the international court. That is the only place where FIFA is going to now start thinking and understanding about what I'm talking about, that this statute of interference, whenever the government tries to do something, it is retrogressive and that statute is being used by FKF and many other federations in Africa to stop the government from investigating them or from saying anything in regard to how football is run in the country. Therefore, I also want to urge Amina Mohammed. we have 350 videos discussing the issues of Kenyan football, the way forward, the solution, the problems of FKA, from elections to governance to taking over uh, Kenyan Premier League, from the grassroots football problems, all of those, they are in videos in our channel, 350 videos. Amina Mohammed, you might take one whole week, listen to all of them. The solution is there. How and what should be done to Kenyan football? But on this issue of ban, I believe now the time has come when Kenya should now escalate this issue seriously and take it to the international court. The soft approach to CAF, the soft, the soft approach to FIFA will not work as a nation, as a people, we must escalate this issue to the international court. I leave you in peace. I'm gone. I'm Gakonga, your coach and the pioneer of Vision Total Football Kenya. Aluta Continua and the medicine to the Kenyan football. We have said it long enough. The answer to the problems affecting Kenyan football is a total football evolution where there will be no stone unturned. That is the ultimate answer to the Kenyan football. I live in peace, I'm gone.